This is a last minute live. Um, I know you hadn't seen me, I think for a couple of days. I haven't, I know I didn't upload anything this morning or yesterday. So my guess is it's been a couple of days. But I'm going to give everybody a moment because I did just go on and it takes a moment for everybody to get their notifications if they do, even if they do. Let's see. So let's, I'll put this one up here. Show you something I'm working on. All my stuff out of here. All right. And we'll, we'll discuss what I have up there. I have a couple things going on. Hi. Well, someone's on. I see someone's on. Someone gave me the thumbs up and thank you. I appreciate that. Hi, April. So let me see if I can move this around so that you can see this. I hope you're doing well, April. It is raining here. It's not that great. It really isn't. It's been raining all day. So I have been working on this. This is going to be one of our one of my next tutorials. It's a little busy. I already know. So <laughs> I already know it's a little busy. So this one is called Enchanting. It's this quilt here, and it is from the Magic of the Three Yard Quilts. And um, I use this with um, crumbs, fabric crumbs. So I took my crumb fabric and I used it as my fabric one spot. Let's see, we got someone else came in, Jay Tucker. What's going on? Well, quilting is going on here. We're having an old fashioned quilting uh, happy hour here, except for I have no happy hour drink. <laughs> um, we had bad storms last three days, but much better now. Oh, so sorry to hear that, April. I hope you weren't in the path of any of that stuff. Um, so this is the quilt. And as you can see, the center um, fabric one is Good. I'm glad you respect that. <laughs> maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll pick up, Jay Tucker, maybe you'll pick up a new hobby. Um, hi, Linda. So I basically put, I made my own uh, crumb fabric and put it in fabric one and then fabric, I use a yard of fabric two and fabric three. And then this here calls for crumbs as well. So I just, I just went ahead and did blue. But I'm working on that and that's going to be our next tutorial. So a lot of people are liking that I'm taking a regular, you know, three yard quilt and converting it. <laughs> I'll stay just in case. Yeah, you're welcome to stay. Um, I'm People are liking that I'm converting these three yard quilts into scraps and how to use your fabric more economically. So we will go with that. <laughs> you, you thank you for subbing thank you um so that's what i'm working on that's going to be a tutorial in the future it's just not going to happen today and now because i've been at work all week and those kiddos in school yes for those of you who don't know i work in a school they are loud i don't know what happened when these solar clips came but they have absolutely absolutely have been bonkers um so we are going to put up another quilt and we are going to i'm getting the right book yes i have to get the right book we are going to set it up so you know i was in puerto rico you guys all saw my puerto rico vacation because i did lives and everything and i used the brand new fabric cafe book make it easy and i went ahead and did affinity using using our jelly roll and some scraps so we did not do the traditional three yards of fabric we used jelly roll strips this is what i have left of it and this is what i have left of my scraps that you had seen earlier 
Now, what we're going to do is, I know we did this together over there, but I didn't have my design wall. So, you know, it was really hard trying to get all this up without my design wall. So we have our one patch blocks and our second. And now I'm going to go to the page, and it is on page for those who have this book. Look at this. And Donna, she 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 always inscribes my books, her and Fran. They are very sweet women. Um, here we go. So that is on page four, and we are going to lay this out. So I'm going to start laying out, and you guys can watch. So besides weather... Who got to watch the solar eclipse out there? Who got to watch that? Who got to do the solar eclipse? And don't mind my hair. Yes, I am having a bad hair day. It is frizzy. I know the back. I don't even want to know what's going on in the back. Um, let's see. Yes, I am from New York. Absolutely. <laughs> Raised in Brooklyn and now a country girl. One, two, three, and four. So we're gonna go four across. And one, two, three, four, five, six down. And we are gonna go six down. Now who out there besides me, because I did watch the solar eclipse, who was in the path of total totality? Here we go. Now, when we lay these out, for those who are doing this pattern with myself and Fran, um, she mentioned to make sure that this middle piece goes vertical and not horizontal. And I, I should know that because I made the sample in the book. Sometimes I forget. And don't mind, our alarms are going off in the town, so I'm not sure why. Oops, did that wrong. And then we're going to help, hi Lidiana, we're gonna help um, put some borders on here. Hi Anthony. Now we'll put this one. This is that special block, if you remember, I had to piece one because I ran out of a full scrap. So we're gonna put that one right here. that there. Lidiana, did you get to see the eclipse? And is it raining and storming by you? Oh, I forgot. I have to tell you guys something. I'm actually going to meet one of you subscribers this weekend. Yes, one of you have reached out to me and it is a fellow Boricua, which is a fellow Puerto Rican. And, uh, her husband plays in a band, a salsa band, and it's a Cuban salsa band. Ah, Ana, como esta? Hi, Ana. Love the, the gold colors with the black. Yes, so I will be meeting a subscriber this weekend. I'm so excited. I just made the reservations. So we are, I'm totally excited. I, I can't wait to, I like to meet you guys when you're around. So, yes, so that's what I'm up to this weekend. And uh, maybe if we live close enough from each other, because right now we're just meeting in, in just a, you know, random place, maybe we can be quilting together <laughs> every once in a while. Let's see, Lidiana. No, I'm in California, and we didn't have much. No rain. Okay, and it's almost 80. Oh, I'd give anything for 80 degrees right now. Really? Because it is cold here. And on Saturday, I was looking for the weather to see how it was going to be for this event. And it is going to be cold. It is going to be cold. Um, it's going to be 38 is going to be the high where we are. All right, so you know what? I'm just going to put them up, but you know we all have to move all this, right? We're going to have to move some of these blocks around so that they don't 
you know, so they're, they're well mixed in. So that's some exciting news on my end is that I'm actually going to go out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go down one more. There we go. Sorry if I'm missing the chat. I'm trying to get this up here. So I am loving this bee fabric. I really am loving this bee fabric. And I really should look up. You know what? I don't need to buy more. No, because I already made this quilt. All right, so there it is. I have it completely up. And now it is time to kind of move things around. So like I'm thinking I may want to move this over here. But you know what happens when you start moving things around. It's like a never-ending shuffle. Uh, huh. Uh, there was just way too much of this intense yellow in the one spot, but now I have this part here. So we will move this to here. It's the same kind of panel, but the side is a little different and that fits there. So anyway, I would progress, proceed to keep doing this. But if you can see, it's kind of making the chain, right? We're having the chain go a little, it's doing a chaining effect. Let's see, I have to attend to my grandson. You go attend to your grandson, Anna. It's okay. We will catch the rest on replay. See you later. Yes, we'll see each other later. Lidiana, I love bee fabric. I'm allergic to this is as, oh, I'm allergic. So this is as close as you get. I do. I love bee fabric too. I am not allergic that I know of. I mean, I've been stung quite a bit, so in my youth. Here we go. So now I have this up and I would have to continue playing. I mean, you know, this is going to be a short live because, oh, here, like this one and this one I should move um, because I did just get home and I told family wanted to talk and I said, no, I got to do this live before I get myself comfortable. So this looks like something I would like, like it, for it to look. Um, so now let's talk borders. On this affinity pattern, as you can see, sorry, I have to, you know what? Let me see if I can find a piece of something to mark off. All right, here we go. As you can see, it has a skinny border, a fat border, and the binding. Hello, Magda. Welcome. I am going to go ahead and not do what they have going on here. We're just going to do our own thing. And what I have is a whole lot of yellow and a whole lot of black. So clearly, I'm going to need five of these for binding. And I also need to put some of this for a border. Let me just look one more time at something. Okay, so they use, the, this would be the black. So the black would be the next border. And according to this, if you follow the book, we would use these strips and put this on the border. And we're going to go ahead and do that. I like that idea. So we have that. And I have this, this right on there. So much better. When I go to Puerto Rico in the summer, I am going to bring a design wall. And actually my mom showed me a place where I could hang it, hang like a temporary design wall. We can put like little tiny hooks and then hang it from there. So we're already thinking, um, hi, Mirta from Georgia looks good, thank you. Um, yes, so she and I, she when, when she was there, well, she's always there, but when I was there, she was thinking we could definitely, and I should, the wall would be great. It's right by one of the exterior walls, it would be right outside um, where I iron. And I have another piece here, and that would be the bottom. 
Now, what I have is a piece that's this big. Ooh. So the question is, hmm, I could put this here. I don't have any more of this black long piece. So, you know what? It's just going to have to be a scrappy border. It's really, you know what? Take that back. We're going to put these. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put this on the side. Since I have two of these, we'll put these on the side. Because I need two strips or a strip and a half for there, right? And then I have the strip and a half of this. So each side, this side can be that, that side can be that. And then I have two of these. Sorry, okay. And it's not totally black, but I think it'll do. And I have another one here. And if we fall short, we'll just... We'll just make do. My favorite thing is just let's make do, right? We will just make do. And then I had this piece of black if we need it for any reason. Now I have over here all this yellow. And what I'm thinking is since I have so much yellow, we're going to go with um, one. We need five. So one two, um, and I'm going to grab the prettiest ones to put around the border, and six. Okay, so I have, I have six right here, six of these, and I only need one and a half, um, one and a half of these, right? So we'll put this on the outside like this, another one okay and look at this look at this fabric i just love this bee fabric we'll put this here and then we'll do a, another one up there and then i have this one that we will add to it look at that and And this one, I have this, because I'm already using this and I'm using this. So yes, yeah, so it would be that one and this. And the, which leaves me with four strips, which is this one, this one, these two. And then whatever left over from here, I'm going to make scrappy binding. And then it'll be the scrappy binding once I quilt it. But, you know, I have only a stack stacked up, but at least I will have it. And then all I will have left over after using the jelly roll and that little bit of scrap I showed you on the video is really just this, this little oddball piece, this, this little piece of black, but I might need this black still for there. So I'm not sure 100% and these two pieces. So I am happy I got a whole jelly roll out of my stash. All this came from stash and and the little couple pieces of the fabric. So this is what I'll be working on probably tomorrow morning when I wake up in the morning. Again, it came from that make it easy with three yard quilt book. So what do you guys think? Is it too busy? <laughs> it's okay if it is, you know? I think, I think it's... Uh, it has a lot of pattern, right? There is not that much. There's a lot going on, but it's okay. I like it. We're going to go with it. Someone's going to love it. I have I have quite a bit of charity quilts that I am putting together right now to go off um, to their new homes. And this may be one. I don't know, but I kind of really like it, so I don't think so. I think I, think, um, I may bring this back. My mom really liked this. So maybe I'll bring it with me to Puerto Rico for the couch there. Um, but yep, that's that's one of the quilts that I did. This is the blocks I brought home so that I could set it out here. Um, beautiful, thank you. 
Hi, Agnes. Not busy at all. Well, thank you, Agnes. Um, yeah, that's all that I'm up to. I'm going, I'm exhausted. It's been a very long day at school. I'm going to go downstairs, say hi to the family, and cook a little. Not too, and Magda says it's not too busy. It's, it's really pretty. The white gives the eye a place to rest. Yeah, I mean, I loved the fabric. So, I don't know, I have to, I'm tired. <laughs> What you know, my favorite part of this quilt is there's a little tiny little crown right here, and it's in this little scrappy part. And I don't know why it's super cute, and it's not on anything. Oh, yeah, here's another little crown, but um, yeah, I like it. I think it's good. I think it's a good way to use a jelly roll if you have it, and I think that this pattern lends itself to to making this quilt easy with a jelly roll and even a layer cake. Like, let's say you had a jelly roll and layer cake. I mean, I use scraps, but this would fit in, I think this would fit in the gel, in the layer cake. If you had some layer cake, you know, singles laying around. Let's see. Um, that would be fabric one in this book. So yeah, you could, if you had a jelly roll and some layer cake squares left over, you can use the layer cake squares for this part of the block and cut it down so that's a really good use for any anything you got so i'm just i'm just showing you just a little bit just a little bit um i do want to remind everyone that there is a pass it forward going on right now um linda says i love that quilt a lot of my favorite things in there <laughs> i'm a gardener yeah me too i love gardening not so much in New York. I don't have as much luck as I do in Puerto Rico. Um, when I lived in Texas, my garden was wild. I think it's because of sun and water and everything. But there's a pass it forward going on for the Goal Bold book. And it is, I think it's one of my last videos. And what you need to do is be 18 and over. And remember that YouTube is not sponsoring this pass it forward. You need to like, well, you need to be a subscriber. You need to like the video and then comment what would be your favorite pattern if you had, if you got, if you won this book, what would be the pattern you would like to make? And if you read that, if you go to that video and it's, it's clearly labeled pass it forward video, um, it'll tell you everything about it. But I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I know I've only been on here for about 20, 22 minutes, 23 minutes. This is going to be pretty short. I wanted to kind of show you this so that I can get to sewing it in the morning. And um, yeah, it's time for me to, to see family. <laughs> you know, you can't ignore those family members. And it's also, I've got to figure out what I'm going to cook. I have no idea what I'm going to cook. I don't even know if I have anything defrosted. I might have to run to the supermarket really quick and pick something up. But thank you. I so, so appreciate everyone who's out there. I know there's not many of you who normally have a bigger group. I, though, so appreciate it, being that this was so last minute. And thank you so much. Please take care of yourself because you guys are so important. Pass it forward. And please subscribe, like, and share my channel because there might be people out there who may want to learn how to quilt. Take care and have a fabulous night. Bye.